guys welcome back if you're new here my name is Jess I'm a mom vlogger I like to vlog about being in a blended family taking care of my two kiddos my work schedule virtual learning anything mommy related if you like to see those types of videos make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below I answer every single comment today's video we are focusing on my two-year-old son's potty training he's not fully potty trained yet we're in the works this is just some items that were is gonna get us started this isn't gonna be like, oh, he's probably training three to four days. This is gonna be a process. He's only two years old. He just turned two in January and we're just getting him introduced, starting him off, what we bought. This is just like the beginning steps towards potty training. We have no end date on when he's gonna be potty trained. Like we don't have limits like, oh, I want it gone in a week like we did with the pacifier. This is just, we want to introduce it and see how he accepts it and how he gets on with it so um for the last couple of weeks we've actually started putting him on the potty every morning as soon as he wakes up we put him on there we give him a book and we just get it going he's not very happy about it as soon as he wakes up because you know he's a toddler and he's super cranky in the morning um but not only are we doing it then, we're also doing it right before he takes his nap, after his nap, and right before he goes to bed. What we're thinking of introducing right after this step is pretty much getting him up there every hour and then eventually leading to every 30 minutes, every 15 minutes, just to get him up there and flowing and starting to show him if he actually does go on the potty like this is what you're supposed to do yay here's a reward um so that is what we plan on doing in the next few weeks eventually hopefully he will understand that he has to hold it or have to go on the potty and do all that so that is our plan for later weeks so i'm going to get into what we actually bought for this process um i do have a 10 year old daughter and i went through this before but Unfortunately, Lily was actually a little older. She was like three and a half when I started potty training her because she showed no interest. She was not excited to do it. Um, and she was also switching houses between her dad and I. So it was honestly really hard to get her potty trained at a young age compared to Ollie who has like a set routine and he knows what we're doing every day. So I am starting a little early and yes, I know that. Um, but Ali has started showing me some signs, which I'll get into, and let's just get into what I bought. I ended up buying him a potty that goes on the actual seat, which I'll insert here. Um, it's just a Paw Patrol thing, and I think it cost me like 10 to $15 at Target, and it has a little hook that goes onto the side of the toilet, so it hangs there. And it's pretty easy, it's pretty easy to just put on and pop back off whenever we need to. It's not taking up any other space other than just hanging there. It's not bulky and in the way, so it's a perfect potty. Next up is a stool that we bought so he can climb onto the toilet or wash his hands at the sink. And it sits right next to the toilet so he can easily just move it over and put it back. So it's not in the way. Again, we are trying to save space here. We live in a small house. So the stool is a good investment. I think it was, again, only $10 from Target. And most of this stuff will be linked down below if I can find it. So you guys can also buy that as well. Not only do we have a seat in the bathroom, but we also have a seat downstairs. It's just a little penguin potty. To be honest, he doesn't really use it compared to the one upstairs. He thinks it's a toy because it's near his toys. Um, we bought that when we bought the other seat. But again, he doesn't really like that and he doesn't sit on it. Um, so we just have it down there just in case. Inside the bathroom, along with the potty and the stool, we have a bunch of books, which I will just flip through real quick. Um, we read him one of these every time we go to the potty just so he could sit there for a minute and, you know, get the feeling, sit there and not feel uncomfortable. Um, and it honestly just gives him a little bit of time of just sitting there and relaxing so it's not like a huge stressful moment so we just read we just read a book or two depending on how he's acting um and then we get him up and he's done with those we also have pull-ups and bags for his diapers just in case he poops in the bathroom along with wipes so this is just for accidents or if he pooped like i said in his pull-up already so we can easily change him and get on with our day and just put it in a bag so our bathroom doesn't smell. Um, 
that is all set up in the bathroom and it's just easy easily accessible for all of us along with all of that we actually have little treats up there so instead of toys this time or stickers because ollie puts stickers everywhere we ended up getting little hershey kisses because honestly i don't trust him with m&ms or i would do that um we got hershey kisses and every time he goes in the potty he gets one and eventually i think we're going to switch to something that's not as big um but as of right now because he only goes four times a day for Hershey Kisses isn't that big of a deal but eventually when we start to do every hour or every 30 minutes I want to switch it up to something smaller um, but that's there for right now and he loves opening them up and eating them while he's getting red too so that also occupies his time for on the go moments as of right now we're not really using this at all but I figured I buy it just in case on the go moments we have it in his diaper bag already it's a portable potty so you pretty much just unfold it and put it onto the toilet that you're at so he can go to the bathroom even if you're going to grandma's house or out to eat or to the mall it's just easily accessible and it's in the bag already so you just take it with you um and you just unfold it put it on there and then fold it back up and put it in there and then you could later clean it so it's easy and it's plastic so it's easily to clean and um it's just easy like that's the the best word right there it's easy to go we also bought a timer which is like the last item that we bought for like actual party training right now we got we got the timer that goes off every 60 30 15 and five minutes and all you have to do is flip it and it'll go um so we bought that for when we're ready to do the 60 to 30 minutes potty training for his bedroom we're not yet ready to transition him as as soon as we know that he can go all day without making any mistakes or anything we're going to transition his bedroom into a toddler bedroom the toddler edition that goes with the Graco crib that he has i really don't like it i ended up buying this rail instead and it comes down and goes back up um and making it easy for him to get out of bed when he's ready to go to the bathroom we're also going to install our gate back up top on the top step so if he gets out of his bedroom he doesn't fall down the stairs in the middle of the night and he could easily come to our room or to lily's room and knock on the door um, but he can't get down the steps so we're gonna put that back up when he's ready to do night time training um, along with that we're also going to baby proof the crap out of his room as of right now he doesn't spend much time in there other than his naps and his bedtime and he's not in there roaming around by himself as soon as we get to that part where he can easily get out of his crib or toddler bed um we will start doing that that's why i bought the sleek sleek sockets for over his outlets and then i also bought cord covers so he can't touch the cords and not only did we buy all that stuff but we also bought to like toddler underwear um as of right now he's in 5t pull-ups he is at the last size i can't find any higher than that and we kind of like really need him to start going on the potty and start get transitioning into underwear because he's not gonna last much longer in these he's very thick um so we just bought the underwear just in case and if it becomes a problem he can't fit into the toddler underwear they sell um like training underwear with padding in it so if he goes to the bathroom it'll absorb it and i could just wash those so that's like our next step if i have to buy those but as of right now we just have plain underwear and boxers i bought both just in case he if he doesn't like the underwear he might like the boxers it's all a preference i guess men so that's all i bought so far if you have any other recommendations on things that i should buy for potty training please leave them in the comment section down below i would love to check it out but that is the gist of everything we bought and i'm gonna get into like how i know that he's ready to start potty training um in the last couple of weeks he started to tell us well he doesn't really talk much but he started to point to his pants every time he goes to the bathroom that's a big sign of telling you if your kid is ready or not they're letting you know that they have gone to the bathroom so he started doing that and then he's also been hiding in the corner every time he goes number two so that is also a big sign he's telling me that he's gone and he knows he's gone so that usually he just doesn't pay attention and he just continues on with the day but him like notifying me that he went is a big deal so he's also learned how to pull down his pants so he pulls down his pants when he's ready to go or if he has to go 
So he's pretty much like telling me that he's gotta go and I found that he can go long periods of time without going or soiling himself. So he's starting to hold it in and he knows like when he's starting to get that feeling. Um, so I think that's the best way to know if your child has to go to the bathroom. There's a book that I bought and it goes through step by step on how you count, what they're feeling, what to buy, all that stuff. So I'll leave it down in the description box if you would like to check that out as well. Another good option is to just watch other people's progress throughout this. Um, you can search it on YouTube or just blogs or anything like that. Or even ask your mom, other mom friends on how they did it. That is just something that can help you as well. So this is just my potty training starter kit. This is how we're going to get started. And eventually in the next couple months, just get him completely off of pull-ups and get him in his toddler bed. So that's it guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and leave any questions in the comment section down below i answer every single comment i will see you guys in the next vlog bye guys